up for three rounds in the featherweight division. And making his way to the cage first, fighting out of the blue corner from England, here is Robert Scott! <laughs> He's bringing an 0 and 1 record to the cage, gents, but it doesn't entirely tell the whole story. He has two wins at amateur, one by Rene Kachok, and one going the distance. So, some experience, but off to a rocky start in his pro career. Yeah, now he just needs to slow it down and capitalize and just make the most of it and make it one and one. You know what I mean? You can't just sit there and I got beat on that first one and go keep going downward spiral. Go back to the gym, work on the things you need to work on, stay solid, and go back out there and try and make it one and one. So, you, you know, Jens, he's 31 coming into this bout. What's it like trying to, you know, start a pro career at, at that late stage? You know, uh, we, there was a time we probably would call that a late stage, <laughs> but now you're seeing people fighting at 42, 43, 44. You know, I mean, it seems like 40 is no longer the stopping point for most people. So, you know, again, it, it really boils down to time. How much time are you putting into the gym? How much work? Is it quality work, quantity work? With the, that's where the age point doesn't really matter. It's been a year out of the cage for uh, Robert Scott as he makes his way in tonight. Do get involved on social media, hashtag CWFC75. Let us know what you think about all of the action on tonight's card. We've got some cracking bouts coming up a little bit later, including, of course, our main event, that middleweight title clash between Jack the Joker Hermanson and the Brazilian Viking Alan Carlos. But right now, it's the turn of Robert Scott. And his opponent tonight making his way to the cage, finding out of the red corner, London's own Oliver Battelle. So you may have wondered what the football chance before James it is for the young Oliver Battelle, 28 years old, representing the MMA clinic from right here in central London. Now, like his opponent tonight, he brings a pro record of 0-1. However, before that, he was undefeated as an amateur, four very good fights, three of which took place right here on Cage Warriors. So, from, from some familiarity with this setup for him, gents. Yeah, I mean, that's another one. Again, we both guys are 0-1. This is that perfect moment for both of them to just go out there and try to make it 1-1. One and one. Work on those little things that kind of, that you got caught, you know, whatever happened in that first fight, whatever, how you lost, work on that. Come back out here and get the win. That, it's still a learning curve, it's still an experience, you know what I mean? You gotta get out there and just keep fighting, but go back to the gym and work on those things. I mean, Oliver Vitell, he's a very good wrestler and, and he throws the boxing in with that in his first uh, debut at Cage Royce 52 back in March of 2013, so two years out of the cage for him. He ran into Shad Hack, who, if you haven't seen the flyweight division on Cage Warriors, is probably the best wrestler in the division. So, a tough start for him, and he looks to make amends here tonight. And now, fight fans, we are set to go once again three rounds. This in the featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a wrestler sitting five feet, seven inches tall. Weighing in officially 143 and one half pounds. Tonight, in his second professional match, he looks for his first professional victory, fighting out of Stratford, England. Here is Robert Scott! And next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist standing five feet, six inches tall. He weighed at officially 144 and one half pounds, and he too looks for victory number one tonight. Fighting out of and representing London, England, here is Oliver Battelle! And your referee in charge of the action is Mark Goddard. One of the best in the business, referee Mark Goddard is gonna get us underway here in our first pro preliminary bout of the evening. Two of those to look forward to before our main card live around the world at 9 p.m. GMT. Robert Scott in the grey trunks, taking on Oliver Vitale in the black. Touch of gloves. And both guys upright with good high guards, nice and early. Yeah, hands are up, feeling out a little bit. Good low kick right there from Scott. Good head movement right there, though, from Ollie, man. Oliver's throwing a good kick. He's just touched with that jab, good head movement. Faints. Both of them, yeah, a little yeah. faint. Oh, good jab, man. Good. 
textbook right now. Oh, both of them. Vince in the, Vince the flinch is clearly going to play an important part in a, a well-rounded strike. He's oh, 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 the right here. Look at the face of right here. Just right here. Oh, yourself. Get out of that position. Get out. Get out. Get out. Just get out. Go, 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 go. Over. Over. A very quick team victory. Somebody go had to go. And Oliver Mattel just made it one and one. What a fantastic. I mean, it was the catch of the kick and a classic straight right hand counter. And you can see Robert Scott wilted under that barrage of punches. They may not have all connected, but they certainly did the damage. The issue was when he threw that kick, they're too, they get too comfortable sometimes throwing that kick. Like there's not going to be any kind they of don't throw any power. Like nothing, well, not only do that, but they, they kind of just throw it thinking that nothing's going to come back at them. Nobody's going to catch the kick. Ollie did a great job catching and punching. And the chance of Oli, Oli, Oli running around the Camden Centre here in central London. I'm sure that young man will be very, very happy with his night's work indeed. He moves to one and one. Robert Scott, I'm sure, disappointed, but just not able to recover from a flawless right hand. But you've got to say, as Jens rightly pointed out, straight from the off, Oliver, Oliver Battelle looked great with his feint, great with his, his technical uh, striking setup. And just look very, very comfortable. What a great win for the MMA clinic. Paul Hines and Michael Russell in his corner. Let's take a look at the replay. And there's that straight right hand of the catch of the kick. Immediately good posture on the ground and pound. And you can see there's no frame from Robert Scott at all. He's turned sideways. Mark Goddard giving him every chance in the world. But there's no attempt to put some distance between himself and Oliver Battelle, and that is a great TKO. Switch, switch, switch. Let's throw it over to Joe Martinez oh, in the cage to make this one official. Uh, 37 seconds, round number one. We have your winner by TKO London's own Oliver, the Omen Battelle! Oliver Patel, wow, catch the leg, throw the right hand. That's it. That's it. Man, take us through that. Take us through that. Uh, that's just a move that gets drilled over and over in training. Catching kicks, throwing the right hand, just to put the, the opponent obviously on their back. But it was a nice right hand, it rocked him enough, so got a TKO from it. Well, we were saying somebody's old had to go and in front of this crowd. What a support, man. What do you want to say to those crowd up there? Best, best support. I'm telling you now, it's the best support. North London's finest right there. Well, back to one and one and back to the win. And that yeah, that's it. I've been waiting a long time for that. That's, uh, that's been a few years I've had off due to other reasons and stuff. So it's been a long time coming. Uh, just good to get back in here and get the win, yeah. Well, hell of a job. Hey, congratulations. Oliver Patel, everybody. Want me to avoid the hit? Yeah, that's a great win for Oliver Battelle there. Textbook stuff from him. We're going to move on to our second professional prelim of the evening. Here at Cage Warrior 75 inside the Camden Centre in Greater London. <laughs> 